Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is a Wednesday and I am praying that we have lessons today with our friends from Barn Boots and Country Roots. If you haven't seen them, they have a YouTube channel as well and we are friends with them and we ride with them. You could totally check out their channel if you wanna know who, they're, who I'm talking about, but you'll see them tonight. The weirdest thing though of all time, and this has never happened to me before, so I wanted to tell you guys. So uh, there's a little bit of drama about the Barn Boots and Country Roots channel. Something we've never really shared. I don't think we shared it. And so I'm gonna tell you guys, hopefully they don't get mad because it's not nice to make you mad. Um, but basically, but basically they are so much like us, it's shocking. Like to the point where I don't even know. I'm stepping in horse poop. it. To the point where it's like, Almost freaky, if that makes sense. Like, so for any of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, we met this family last summer, and they're local, really, really nice people. So mom and a dad and two girls. And the more we got talking, the more you know we realized that there's so much about them that's similar to us, not just YouTube. Like, they have a YouTube channel. The mom runs it. So like a lot of similarities with that part of their story. But what you guys don't see, and what you don't know, is that. Their youngest daughter is so much like my youngest daughter. Like medical stuff from when they were little and and like their personality and there's just so much about them that's so similar. And then the older girl is a totally similar version of Gabby. Like it's it, it's almost bizarre how how similar they are. Like it they're I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it in the videos where we have them on our on our channel? We both homeschool our kids, and we both have small farms, and we both ride horses, and we both have like, and the mom and I both have like different backgrounds before we started YouTube and and before we started like homeschooling and stuff. She worked someplace out of the home and different areas, but we have exactly the same interests, but. What really surprises me and what really shocks me and what really has like made me realize that this situation that we're going through with this other family is so heaven guided is that the mom and I are the same person. Like I've never met anybody like me so much. Clearly we're a little bit different but underneath we're so much alike like when I talk to people like my friends and my family I'm always like the mentor and I'm always like trying to guide them and I'm always trying to like make them see a better way and I'm always trying to like make them see a positive way and I'm always trying to encourage them and build them up and that's who I am inside that's how I talk to everybody and and now this lady when I talk to her she does the exact same thing she does the exact same thing and she talks a lot just like I do and she it's, it's really bizarre so when I talk to her I'm like I don't know what to say because she says all the things that I say and so all I can do is agree with her because I agree with everything that she says it's like we're so similar and we have the same belief system and the same positive positivity belief system and there's just like so much similarity has that ever happened to you guys before where you've met someone and it's almost exactly like talking to yourself and then you're just kind of like wow what do I say to that because you already agree like I'm used to telling people stuff and them not knowing it and then like teaching them I guess I'm a teacher and she's a teacher and it's just so weird it's just such a weird situation but a beautiful situation and I love having them in our life Gabby and the older girl are really starting to figure out how much how similar they are and it's just been really amazing friendship unfolding anyway that was a long way to say if you want to follow barn boots and country roots here on YouTube go ahead and do it let's give my dog a piece of ice. Let's give Sophie's dog a piece of ice. She would rather eat oh, droppings. <laughs> you love ice. You love ice. <laughs> Molly. Oh, yeah. oh, wait a minute. I didn't even feed the other horses. I didn't even feed the other horses their grain. Oh. So, uh, welcome to our day. Good morning, go up there and have an amazing day. And every day, another drama. You just need to go and get through it and remember that God has your back and, and nothing is so big that he can't handle it. Hey, <laughs> is 
It's about time. Shall we go see my pets? Do you actually? See, she won't come now because we're watching her. <laughs> so weird. Gabby, do you actually wait until we're gone so you can come alone? No. Well, I'm glad you came. My goal for spring break is to clean up this. I don't know how our tack room got res got pushed into this tiny of a space. It used to be like this whole room and then we got all this stuff rearranged. Yeah, I took the shelf out of here. So we need to do something different. I really want to clean this up on spring break. And then we have this couch, which is like our outside couch and I love it. The only problem is, is that the cat walks on it. We with... have to bring it in for the winter. Yeah, we bring it in for the winter. But I actually you think- barely even helped. It was just us really this weird. winter. And dad and the tractor. I found oh. really weird. But why would I help if you have a tractor? I saw- Well, why would we help when it's your couch? It's all of our couch. No, he got it for you for Mother's Day or something. Yeah, I love it. So. I'm going to try and bring it in and wash all the cushions this year because they got all dirty. Alright, so if you saw something really cool. Let's see, what is it? Oh my gosh, every day. What the heck? Who did that? My cat's not tall enough to do Who do you think did it? Use your investigative skills and decide who scratched the door. Who did it? You think the cat did that? She just suspended herself in mid-air so she would be at this exact height or he? So we'd be at this exact height. Think about it. If a cat's on the ground or over there, because it's closed, and he normally jumps on this door to get over to this side. Oh, there's that's here. Yeah. And those are definitely from a cat too, so they look almost the same. Are they from a cat? Yes. I don't think so. Remember? I think they're from the porcupine. <laughs> yeah. Gracie got stuck by a porcupine before. Okay, so. I don't know. It does kind of look really close together, like claws. One, two, three, four. Has to be something. No, it's because the cats jump up there. I didn't see that. What the heck, you guys? Was it a raccoon? No. I was thinking it could have been Gracie because Gracie's this height. But now that she says it, it wouldn't leave marks like that, would it? There's a mystery at the day by day farm. The cats have to jump all the way up and go over that. Oh. Well, I mean, and that's a lot of scratches. Can you guys see them? Huh. And we know Gracie does this. So, uh, comment below what the heck you think happened to our door. We can't let them out yet. Okay, so, Gabby, Sophie's still throwing hay. Yeah, so last night we, when we went for a walk with our horses, it was so fun. Uh, Gabby found all me, me, Molly's pylons. And I found two, and she's all muddy. How did you get all muddy? Look at her face. She looks so ratchet. You look so ratchet. But doesn't she look like an 80s pony? With like her different level of hair. Yeah, but we need to cut that. There's another mystery. How come her hair is so, so weird? So that's her bridal path right there. Is that her whole bridal path? Gabby, you have to cut that. Look how cute she looks without the bridal path. Holy heck. Stay there. All right, a little bit better. We need to like really get our buzzers out and do some major cleaning of the barn of the horses, get rid of winter, bring on spring. That was a lot of winter bridal path. Get out there, little Miss Muffet. So much better. Oh, and that horse needs her ponytail cut. Needs her tail cut. You need to go out there and do it today. She's so careful, you guys. <laughs> so nonchalant. She's like, I don't really like it, Laura. I don't really like it. Oh my goodness. Dirtiest pony ever. And the kitty braved the dogs just for us. Yeah, you did. If you were a broom, where would you be? You lost the broom. Oldest one I've had and it still stayed on. Yeah, so that's, wait, this wait, that burgundy one, is it mine? These are mine. Oh, okay. This, 
What color is Chino's? What color is Chino's? Uh, all right, we'll bring that one. No, it broke. Oh. Still works though, right? But it hurts. Oh, poor girl. And then this one actually works better. This one I had on before. All right, we'll bring one of those. We need a better lead rope. All right. If you were a broom, where would you be? Oh, alarm on everything. Normally, I don't lose everything. Oh. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> so uh, you might be thinking this is not a barn broom, but I love these brooms because they really grip the ground. I like them better than regular brooms for the barn. You always might be thinking, why is my dog on a leash? Why? Why, Daisy? What happened? Why are you on a leash? She went chasing around the whole property with two birds. <laughs> Did you have to chase her through the whole property? No, she came back. She gave up on them, but like, that's not good. And she wouldn't come to me. Oh. So, she's in trouble. I am going to grab a longer leash, but this is the first one I found. A miracle has happened. We are headed into town to get shavings for the horses. And Gabby's here. We were just waiting for Sophie. We never have to wait for Sophie yeah, usually. Oh, is she not coming? I thought she wasn't. Oh, I thought she said she is going to come. Are you coming? No. Okay, bye. That, my friends, is how you do it. When you're a farm girl, you just shove it in. Whoa, whoa. Oh, there's a heart. I don't know. It kind of looks funny, but I see a heart. Usually we stock up and store shavings, but because Sam's at work now, it's harder for me eh, because I only have my van to carry shavings in, so I can only get a few at a time and it means I have to go back all the time and it's annoying. I brought up all of our water buckets so that I could clean them out. I find that in the barn, like especially in winter, all we have is like a scrub brush. We just scrub them and rinse them and dump them and I just find like they don't get very clean and it builds up over time. So I try like every few days to bring them up to the house and wash them. You guys have probably seen water buckets sitting in our, in our house so many times this winter. So we're getting ready to go down to the barn to do some stuff. It's kind of nice outside. Not warm, but not awful, right? Daisy hugs me. Daisy's a hugging dog. She's hugging me, right? She's like, please, Ow. can I go down too? <laughs> you know, this one too. <laughs> please. <laughs> they all want to go but down. See how she puts her I know, she's such a loving girl. I know, you're jealous. <laughs> this dog never jumps up, ever. <laughs> they don't know what's oh, happening. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just funny. Like, if you just stop and take five minutes and and pay attention to what your animal is doing and like what they're trying to say, it's just funny because she they digs her nails. Me. They oh, and now this one's up. Put this leash on. Yeah, so Sophie's gonna be uh, using the leash again for a while because every time Daisy messes up and she doesn't listen. Like Sophie always has to do like a refresher course with her. And um, every time she chases a bird. Yeah, so today it was because she was chasing a bird. And the thing is, when you have a deaf All dog. All around the whole property. Yeah, like she gets so excited and focused because she can't hear, so she just like sees what she sees and she just gets excited. And then she realized I was not with her and then she's like, yeah, and so she just needs a little bit of a reminder. So Sophie's going to do some training with her. Day. Day. Her. She's watching me. I want your head. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> like that dog just did so good. She waited while Gabby was gone for so long. I wasn't that long. Here. Hey. 
Cat dog. Can I go the really bad way? So All right, so if Sophie wants to see, you guys, we know that Daisy's deaf, but she can hear little tiny, tiny sounds. Like if you sneeze really loud, a big sneeze, she can hear it. <laughs> she can hear that. Wow. Okay, you ready? So I've Sophie's got, that. Sophie's, so yeah, a dog whistle. Okay. She can't hear me when I sneeze. When <laughs> she I heard it. it. Okay, listen. See, it's kind of, it makes her nervous. <laughs> it's okay. She can't hear when <laughs> okay. I sneeze. Help, there was a sound. <laughs> it's okay. I can hear it that time. I think she can hear it. She can. She that hurts my ears. Do it again. Good girl. Yes. No. So you should use that whistle and teach her to come to it, Sophie, because then we can go for long walks and she can go off leash. Help. Good girl. Try it again and try and go stand. Make her stay you and said go good stand. Girl, my dog jumped on me. Oh my no. gosh. What the heck? I'm gonna heck. make her stay and then me. Um, blow the whistle while I do the call sign. Yeah. But she's like, oh, I hear that. I'm going to come. Yeah, the come sign. Okay. Sit. It kind of worked, you guys. Gabby's over there just she causing trouble. <laughs> All right, do it one more time. Like, this is actually like, so I don't know if it's, there's something like, there's a reason why her hearing is a little bit better lately, but she does, she has been hearing a little bit better more. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on, let me hold Stay. Stay. Okay, stop. Okay, stop, Sophia. Loud. I can hold on. How come you're having trouble making it? Breathing, because we have had Now try it with just the, the go, go walk away and see if she comes when you walk far away. Just walk away from her. You should teach my dog an intro. Walk, right go, now. just walk someplace and then, okay, now blow it. She only does it with the hand motion. I, I didn't look like that. I know, she moved her hand and she was watching it. Show them the sign for come. So she used... This side? Okay, I'm gonna show them the sign. So, for stay, it's this. That's the way I taught my dog. Yeah. I don't know if all of these are for the same. Yeah, we just made our own. For roll over, I go like this. Yeah. But show them come. Show them what we do for come. For come, we go like this. Blow the whistle. Oh, she did it! Okay, so now let's try this. I know I don't know if you guys like watching this, but let's try this. Tell her to sit. All right, so Sophie's going over behind that wall, and then I'm going to get her to blow the whistle. No. Uh oh. Because, um, <laughs> the dog already knows where she is. The dog actually does not know where the whistle's coming from, though. Okay, listen. That's what I okay. Found out. She doesn't know. Go behind the door. Okay, three, two, one. Am I ready? Yep. Go again. Really loud. She can't hear it from far away. No, no. Uh, she doesn't know where it's coming from. Oh, Remember she, when said, I was right in front she of her? saw her. Sophie peeked her head around there and then Remember she saw when her. I was right in front of her and banged too Yeah. Hard? She mm -hmm. did not know which. Yeah, it's true too. From. She can't tell. She can't tell where the sound is coming from. So that's going to be oh. a problem if we want her to come to the whistle. She has a hard time. When I tell her to stay and she can't see me. My dog, you have to go. Rah! She'll come. You're a good girl. Okay. Now put your hands behind your back and blow the whistle. <laughs> she learned all the tricks. She's just too smart for us. She sees the whistle go to your mouth. <laughs>
I think she can hear, but she's she's nervous of it. Dad, do the hand. She could hear. Now she's going to know. She put her hand down, and she was waiting for that. So we just need a little bit more work to associate the whistle with the cum sign. Do it again. Go quick. Good girl. Okay, now let her go away again. I hope you guys aren't bored seeing this, <laughs> but it's fascinating to me. Okay, go again. Wait. <laughs> I think she can hear it. While they're running up, I'm gonna blow the whistle and see. So when they're running up to the house, she's gonna try and blow the whistle. And we're gonna see if she comes back. Oh, good girl. They're like all kind of nervous. She's over there cat watching because she only has time in her life for cat watching. My cat's up there. Yeah, and she's over here like afraid because she doesn't know about this whistle. Oh, see, like she never does that. She's nervous of this whistle. I mean, like she's, she's over here nervous of the whistle, <laughs> and there's a dog underneath us. Yeah. And I really think that Molly is nervous of the whistle. You're gonna have but to teach. My dog Gracie's looking out for the whistle. Also, always goes under here when she's tired. You're gonna have to train her to come to the whistle too, so that she. No. Do you know how to whistle? <laughs> he can't whistle. Oh. Oh my God. See, I Do you can't... know how to whistle? I did, but then I forgot how okay, to. Okay, let's hear it, let's hear oh, it. No. I, I forgot how to whistle, but I can only whistle breathing in. Okay. What a weirdo. <laughs> Let me hear you whistle. No, I whistled accidentally when I was blowing. <laughs> Remember when we made the yeah. lollipops? I did it. Yeah. I'm breathing out. I did it accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so weird. Uh, <laughs> the dogs are like, oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> now, Ruby, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Mm, she's gone. <laughs> right in the opposite direction. Don't you know that you're beautiful?